going to go ahead and import an image. So I'm going to use this purple button up here. It's kind of like file would be. I want to import something and I'm going to choose my background. I can drag something into that box as well. So I have my logo here that I just added and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. But let's say I want to put that on the side of this. So if this is my can and I just have like a little sticker to show a product that I'm creating, um, how would I put this along the side of it? So first thing I want to do is right click on the background someplace. Let me click off my image. Right click anywhere on the grid and there's a turn off snapping or turn on snapping. And it shows you everything that's off and if it's blue it means it's on so I want to just make sure face is on so I'm gonna snap it to the face of another object so how do I grab this object and snap it to the face of this thing so I would grab it if I move my mouse to the center of this object there's a little dot there and you can see this little circle popping up that when I hover my mouse over that I can grab with my hand start moving it to the face of my object and you can see it's now like it's on the face of my object and when I let go it wraps it around that object and when it's on there I can now still twist it and rotate it I can maybe make it bigger so it's not so small but that wraps it around my my container my object that I made before so I can move it up and down reposition it but it's snapped around that object and again I had to make sure my faces was on and now you grab it by that center dot and I can move it on the object. The other thing that you can do because it's on my object I might want to make it blend in a little bit so it's on that blue object. I might with it selected want to change some of the the materials and edit these materials um, Edit. I might want to make it a little bit um, less opaque so you can see through it a little bit so it blends in as best as I can to what my original container shape was. The other thing I might want to do is edit it in a graphic editor so that I have some opacity here. It looks a little bit more like a sticker or a decal that I'm putting on something and that will be easier to make it blend into my shape. So you might need a, a graphic editor, some graphic editing tools to make that happen. But that's how you put, attach a sticker or decal to the side of something.